Hi, Mark Leifart here, continuing on with the Big Fix Foundation course. In this section, I will cover the Big Fix Install Generator, installing the Big Fix Server, and web reports. Let's get started. So we have some assumptions here. Uh, you have a Big Fix authorization file in hand. You're authorized to install Big Fix. You have taken the time and reviewed the Big Fix install guide. Uh, the recommendation for SQL Server is that it installed in mix mode. Uh, the server you're installing on is resolvable by your clients. They need to be able to call home. So you need to make sure that your the host name you're using can be resolved. If you have to deal with a proxy to get to the internet, you have to know what your rules are and how you have to authenticate to your proxy. I will not cover that here. If you are not using SQL Server authentication, but using Microsoft authentication instead, ensure that the user that logs in to install Big Fix has sysadmin rights for the SQL Server uh, so they can uh, create the database and its tables. After the install, you can lower the authority to DB owner. Uh, please read the docs. We talk about that in there. So where do I get Big Fix at? So you download it from their support site. So as you can see in the URL here, support bigfix.com slash bez slash release slash 10.0 slash patch zero is the current release. And you're going to go and look for the section that says install generator and download that. It's around 234 meg in size. Then once you kick that off, it's going to ask you some questions. And first off, you're going to be doing a production install. Uh, that's why you have your license authorization file. Uh, it'll ask you for EULA. I'm not showing that here. And then you need to provide a bit more information. So yes, you want to install with a big fix authorization, license authorization file. Uh, then you have to browse for that file so you can uh, import it into big fix. Big Fix wants to know, to, it will look to see what is your host name. Uh, make sure the host name that it found is the host name that you want to be able to use, it, use that it is resolvable by clients in your environment. After you verify that, then you're going to create the password, and it must be a complex password, uppercase, lowercase, numbers. Uh, this is to generate your public-private uh, key pair. Uh, note, secure this key and its password. If you lose either, you will be installing, in, reinstalling Big Fix. We have no, there are no backdoors uh, into this section. So keep it secure. Now you have to submit that request to HCL so we can create your, your pub public private key. Uh, here's where you would set your proxy information. So there's a button there that you can set and there's various settings that you can use to, to do that. Um, next, you're going to generate the masthead or action site file for your deployment. So that's the create button. On step nine, uh, you get to set the port. Uh, this is the only time you can change it. So by default, Port 52.3.11 is used. Uh, the gather interval is daily. Those are the two main things that uh, you're going to set on that section. And on uh, number 10, finally, uh, you're going to decide where you want these installers to be placed. Uh, so this will generate uh, the installers for installing the Big Fix server, web reports, the client, uh, console, and web UI. So uh, this is what that looks like. So here's your uh, installation guide, and uh, here's the, uh, the server console and web UI like I just discussed. So we're going to start off with the server. So you select the server. Uh, you're going to answer the question of what language you wish to install in. Uh, step three, uh, go with the defaults, because you're going to install the big fix server, and you're going to install web reports. Next. 
let's see, you needed a path and the password for your license.pvk file. So it needs to be able to use the, that information. Uh, what kind of database replication type? A single master or replicated? Typical, what we see out there is a single, uh, single or master database. Uh, step seven, uh, you need to create an initial Big Fix administrator account. In this example, I used admin and MO, so for administrator and master operator. Choose what's your database. Do you use your database local or is it on a remote server? Uh, so you need to be able to answer that question. If it's on a remote, it'll ask you some more questions. Uh, I'm using a local database, so I will not cover the remote section. A uh, path where you can install Big Fix. Uh, if you don't want it on C, if you have another drive that you want to install it on, change it now. Next. Okay, uh, typically you're gonna take the defaults on both of these screens. Uh, so this is for the server properties and pay attention to that URL. So that is the URL uh, that's going to be uh, broadcast for your big fixed environment. Uh, you can see that it's in uh, HTTP, the host name, colon, the port that it's gonna listen on. Uh, step 11, uh, web reports properties. Uh, the key takeaway here is the port. Uh, so by default, we're going to use port 8083 that uh, web reports will listen on. Next, uh, web reports user. Um, I always go with local system user, basically administrator. Uh, this is for the, uh, you know, starting and stopping the service. Uh, you can use a custom user that has those types of uh, authorities. Uh, the user must exist if you're using a custom user. And then finally, step 13 is the uh, breakdown of what Big Fix is going to do to uh, do this install. And uh, you can go ahead and click next. And it'll do the install. It'll take a few minutes for it to create the databases, create the tables. Uh, you can run the diagnostics, uh, but right now it's not going to tell you a whole bunch, except it'll warn you that uh, you don't have a client installed, which is, of course, we don't. Okay, this brings us to the end of the install section for installing the install generator, installing the server, and installing web reports. If you need more information on these functions, you can find the product docs at this URL. Thank you very much.